Orale, Cholo Trucker, Moss Movies and Shows. And here we got the movie Mine. Oh, yes, Mine. Um, went ahead and watched this movie. Not really knowing what to expect. I did see the trailer. I, I like military movies. I do. And I was like, man, am I going to regret watching this one? Am I? Because... You know, it's basically, well, let me go ahead and read the description, first of all, just so I could, uh, the description could tell you what it's about, right? A U.S. Marine sniper becomes trapped in the desert after standing on a landmine. In order to survive, he must single-handedly fight off the enemy while waiting more than two days for a convoy to rescue him. Okay, so basically, that's what it is, okay? He's out in the desert, and he steps, he steps on a landmine. And because he steps on there, I don't know if you guys know how landmines work, but to the best of my knowledge, as long as you keep your foot on there, you'll be all right. It won't blow up. But as soon as you take your foot off, I mean, kaboom, right? So I went ahead and I watched this movie on Netflix, but it's also on a couple of other streaming apps. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, it's on FUBU TV. It's on a couple of streaming apps, man. But I went ahead and watched it on Netflix. This movie came out in 2016. It's got a bunch of actors. I don't know. I think one guy, I've seen him in something else before, but I don't know in what. Ryan Tomatoes has it at 17%. Wow, man. 17%. Way down there. I'm going to tell you guys this right now, man. I got it a lot higher than that, but I don't want to say that this is a great movie. Basically, that's what it's about. Uh, they're out in the desert. It's two Marines. This guy ste steps on a landmine, and he can't move, and he has to stay there, and he calls for help, and they're like, well, we can't get to you till 50-something hours, and it's like, holy smokes. So he just has to keep his left foot on the landmine while he keeps his left foot on the landmine remember he's not in the desert so there's a lot of things that go on man um there is the wildlife yes you have wild dogs that make their presence felt there is the elements remember you're in the desert so you got to stay warm at nighttime there is sandstorms the wind there is quite a few things that go on um Luckily for him, I'm not going to, I don't want to ruin the movie too much for you guys, but luckily for him, there is a villager, but it's not like the villager can come and really do anything. And it's not like he really sticks around for him or anything of that nature. Um, yes, there's a little bit of the enemy that comes and, you know, says what's up and makes their presence felt for a second or two. It's mainly just him and how he survives, right? Uh, he starts, um, uh, he starts, uh, you know, tripping out, man. You go so long without water. You go so long without food. You know, you start hallucinating. So many different things that happen with this Marine. Um, there's not... It starts off pretty good. Okay? It starts off pretty good. But it starts off pretty interesting. And then he's, you know, he steps on the landmine. And maybe for a good... Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe a good 45 minutes or so. The movie's a little bit slow. There's not really much going on. Remember, he just has to keep his foot, his left foot on the mine. So that's pretty much where the whole movie takes place. He doesn't really get a chance to move. Um, movies like that can get kind of risky because there's a lot of downtime. I think they did a good job in going into his childhood and the relationship that he's in on um, on just knowing who this guy is. Like I said, I don't know him as an actor. I don't. But just knowing his background, his childhood, I think they did a good job. They probably could have done a little bit more because there was times where it was kind of falling for me like ah man i'm starting to lose a little bit of interest you know it's just the guy with the left foot on mine um, i'm losing a little bit of interest here show a little bit more show a little bit more of his childhood show a little bit more on how he met his lady and the relationship problems that they had and stuff like that it does show a little bit of that but i thought they could have done a little bit more to keep it a little more interesting 
Um, nonetheless, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. I'm glad I watched it. I for sure don't have it at 17%. For what it was, um, I thought they did a pretty good job. I did. Um, do you have to watch it? No. Is it going to be, is there a lot of gun you know, battles and everything like that? No, absolutely not. Yes, there's a little bit of shooting here and there. It's basically, like I said, just this Marine. And the fortitude on this guy to keep his sanity and just wait till they come and rescue him, you know, not being able to move and using whatever he can around him for anything and everything, the elements, the, the wildlife, the enemies, whatever it may be, keeping your sanity all that stuff, man. So I thought it was interesting. I'm glad I watched it. The movie is uh, the movie is an hour and 46 minutes long. And uh, there's a little bit of downtime here and there, which kind of makes made me lose a little bit of interest at the time. But no, I'm glad I watched it, man. Overall, it's a it's a in between good and decent, I would say somewhere in between that. But it's not a bad movie, but it's not a great movie either. That is mine. Cholo Trucker, Moss Moves and Shows. I'll catch you guys on next one.